Hey everybody, we're out here today talking about the Beverly Gardens Farms. Did I get the name correct, Robin? You got all the right words. <laughs> <laughs> we're here with Robin Burns yep. and Kate Bonashke. Mm -hmm. And we are talking about a program where they get uh, this local garden here in Beverly that is contributing food uh, to the um, pantries around the community. So can you tell us a little bit more, more about it, Kate? Sure. I'm from uh, Citizens in Haven from Hunger and Peabody. And John Fallon has been growing food here for quite a few years and donating the produce to ha Citizens in Haven from Hunger. Um, it started out as a few hundred pounds uh, over the course of the season, and it's grown to several thousand pounds over the course of a season. Um, uh, wonderful items like tomatoes and zucchini and other squash and onions and whatnot tomatoes it's just wonderful fresh and uh and grown with great care great uh robin you want to tell us a little bit about the pantry itself and what it services it's providing and stuff like that sure so um we're, i'm from the salem pantry so um similar to, to kate we're working to address food insecurity right now during this heightened time of need um during covid and uh, John has just been an amazing um, supporter. Essentially, we get deliveries from him on a weekly basis throughout the farm season. And he's growing, as Kate mentioned, a really great variety of produce items. And for us, it's really important because one of the things that we believe in is that everyone deserves access to fresh, healthy food, and not just if you can afford the expensive cost at the grocery store. And so to be able to have a local farmer like John so dedicated to giving back to the community and making donations of the produce, it just it means the world to our programs. Well, we do love our fresh produce. So uh, is there anything else you want to add, Kate? Yeah, you know, just we're we're really grateful for this, and it requires um, community support. So support John and his efforts here at Beverly Farms Gardens. Support your local food pantry. Come down and see a food pantry if you haven't been there before, and um, and think about your your neighbors who may be struggling. Robin, anything to add? No, I think Kate said it really well, and I think it's just it is a really community effort from the food production to the distribution and to all the community partners. And so just happy to be working with John and and getting the produce. Great, and thank you ladies for the work that you're doing and, and helping to pr provide uh, food, food security to the people who, might inter who are in need. Thank you very much. All right, thanks for having us. We're here today talking about Beverly Farms Gardens with uh, John Fallon. Right. How are you, John? Good. How you doing, Rob? Good. Uh, tell us a little bit about what the work you're doing here. So this is a, uh, a traffic island, a mass DOT property that um, seven years ago I um, approached them and said, uh, asked them if I could use it to grow vegetables for the uh, food pantries in the area. And uh, they liked the idea. It's, it's a special program that they modified for, for what I'm doing here, and uh, I'm just responsible for maintaining it and, and uh, growing the vegetables. And I drop it off to the pantries from Gloucester to Lynn. So it's uh, the Open Door in Gloucester, Bootstraps, uh, Salem Food Pantry, Citizens Haven for Hunger and Peabody, and My Brother's Table in Lynn. Yeah. You doing all the work yourself? No, I get some volunteers that I could always use more. Uh, it, there's a lot of hours involved in it. Um, you can see the weeding is, uh, especially this time of the year. But um, I got I try and engage the uh, the garden clubs. There's a Garden Club of America that comes out here. The North Shore Horticultural Society. The uh, I like to cons I like to use this also as a uh, outside classroom for the institution, educational institution. So. And the card. I like to get the community service kids out here, or the environmental science class, biology class. Uh, same with Landmark. Landmark comes out to high school, yeah. and the uh, Jen Coons in her environmental science class comes out, and uh, and some of the other uh, teachers there as well. That's great. So people are learning how to grow some vegetables. Right, right. And they get. The, it's more than just you know. Th there's a lot underneath the soil going on that feeds. I, I don't use any fertilizers. Just bone meal for the phosphorus. But uh, the microbiology into the soil actually takes vegetable scrap compost and turns it into whatever they need, and the plants get what they need out of that. So uh, it, it's uh, strictly organic, no pesticides, no no fertilizers. Now, have you always been a, a grower or a vegetable? I grew some when I was a kid. My father and mother grew up on farms in Ireland, so uh, I picked up the bug from them, and uh, I was retired back in 2007 and I got back into it again. I used to travel for a living so I didn't have time but uh, I kind of got into it and at some point I decided I wanted to be totally organic and uh, so I went that way and um, 
It's learn as you go. I, I don't do anything any any special that anyone else isn't doing. I look at videos, and the big farms now are doing it this way. Uh, so. And what are you growing here? Uh, I have cucumbers, zucchini, summer squash, tomatoes, uh, peppers, and eggplant and broccoli. Wow. So well, most of them are hot weather uh, vegetables, except for the broccoli, and uh, they they like it out here. It's full sun all the time, so. It supports the operation. Yeah, well, it seems like a great program you're going here. I'm glad you're, you're working it, and I hope you get the volunteers you need, and we can certainly give your contact information for anybody who might want to help next year. I mean, you're probably almost done with harvest this year, right? Uh, no, I'll be harvesting probably till the 1st of October. The but I also have butternut squash, and I don't uh, that that totally dies off before I pick that. Um, the stalks turn brown. That's when you know to pick them. But um, I can use donations as well. We're looking for equipment, truck, uh, green, uh, 20 by 40 hoop house. I do seed at Glen Urquhart right now. They allow, give me some space, but uh, it'd be nice to have my own little unit uh, and a place to store everything. Yeah. So right now everything's out in the weather, uh, tools, etc., and they get rusty. And So um, I need labor, I need help, and I need a location to store everything. That's what I'm looking for. All right, well, hopefully some people will see this and we can, you can get some help. And uh, John, thanks for the good work. Okay, thanks for... Uh,